Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Hekima Center evening service, where we meet together to pray together, we meet to worship together, we meet to listen from the word of God. That is Monday through to Friday between 6 and 7.30. Thank you for making us part of your evening. And even as we begin this service, I'd, I'd invite you to join me in a word of prayer. So let us pray. Father God, we thank you for yet another day. We thank you for yet another opportunity to experience more and more of you, O oh God. We thank you for another opportunity to experience you, Father, in ways that we have not before. Because you are a God who is, I mean, you're an unsearchable God. There are so many facets to yourself, O oh God, and we are, we are grateful for this opportunity this evening, Father. We open up our hearts to you, O oh God. Father, we open up our homes to you. We open up this space to you, O oh God, that you would come and just have your way, Lord. Father God, we invite your spirit of the living God to reign. We welcome the spirit of the living God to guide us into all truth concerning our Father, to guide us into all truth concerning our Maker, to guide us into all truth concerning even our place in the heart of the Father, O oh God. We pray for each and every person who is joining us this evening, Lord. We thank you for burdens are lifted up, O oh God. We thank you for souls are encouraged, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for um, our confidence is continually built, even as we experience you, O oh God. Faithful God, mighty God, who stands by his word to perform. Father God, we invite you to have your way. For we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Moment, I will request to share my screen with you um, as we look at a beautiful scripture here that just encourages us to keep blessing the Lord at all times. The book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 1 tells us, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know, this is a deliberate decision that I will bless the Lord at all times. You know, I will praise him continually. I will praise him in the morning. I will praise him at noontime. I will praise him in the evening. I will praise him when everything is going right, I will praise him. When things are going in ways that I did not expect, you know? And the reason I continually praise him is because he stands by his word to perform, because he's a reliable God. Situations change, he does not change, you know? He remains faithful, he remains good, he remains provider. Even when sometimes there is no money in our pockets, we still praise him. Why? He still remains provider. When we are going through health situations, we praise him, you know, declaring his healing over our lives until we see it happening for us, you know. So we rejoice in the Lord and we bless the Lord at all times. So I do not know the time you're at today, you know? I do not know the time you're at this evening, you know? I do not know your season, you know it best. But I will encourage you that whatever your time is, you know, at all times, whichever time this is for you, let us bless the Lord. Let us bless the Lord. Let us praise him continually, unbroken praise, you know? As we've been learning that our praise and our worship and our shout, those are weapons, you know. As we praise him and as we lift him up and as we bless him, 
you know, our situations diminish and our faith in him arises, our hope in him arises. So I invite you this evening, let us bless the Lord together. You know, at this time, let us bless the Lord, let us praise the Lord for he is good and his mercies endure forever. Amen and amen. If you need to call someone to come and join us to praise, why don't you just go ahead and do that? You know, call a friend, call your mom, call your brother, call your sister, call, 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 call whoever comes to mind. Let us praise the Lord together. Let us affect this nation by our praises. Let us affect this nation by our words. Let us affect our homes by our words. Let us affect the hospitals by our words. Let us affect our environment by our words of praise and worship. So call a friend, call your mom, call whoever you need to call. Let us bless the Lord together. Amen and amen. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise to our God, every praise, every praise to our God, every word of worship, one accord, every praise, every praise to our God, hey, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, one accord. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. God, my Savior, God, my healer, God, my deliverer, yes, he is, yes, he is, God, my Savior, God, my Healer, God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my Savior. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he Yes, he is. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Hallelujah, sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Oh, God, my Savior, God.
God, my healer, God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, my savior. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God, your savior. God, your savior. He's your healer. God, your healer. Your deliverer. God, your deliverer. Yes, he Yes, he God, your Savior. God, your healer. God, your deliverer. Yes, he Yes, he is God, my Savior, God, my healer, God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. 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 Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are, my healer. Yes, you are. Yes, you are my savior. Yes, you are. Yes, you are deliverer. Yes, you are. God, my savior. God, my healer. God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is your healer. Yes, he's your deliverer. He is your savior. Irrespective of how situations look, he remains healer. He remains provider. He remains savior. He remains your sure foundation. He remains your rock of refuge. He remains your place of strength. He remains your peace, Prince of Peace, Lord of Lords. Every praise is to you, our God. Every worship is to you, our God. Every praise belongs to you. Every worship belongs to you. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you, King of Kings. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Savior. We bless you, Master. We bless you, faithful friend. We bless you, loving Father. We bless you, caring one. We bless you who tells us to bring all our cares before you because you care for us, O oh God. And this evening, Lord, we present every situation before you, knowing that you are Father and knowing that you are friend. And knowing that you love us and knowing that you care for us, oh God, we bring it all at your feet, oh God, knowing that you are well able, oh God. Even as we have sung, oh God, you are our deliverer. Yes, you are our healer. Yes, you are our strength. Yes, you are Prince of Peace. Yes, you are Rock of Refuge. Yes, you are our sure foundation. Yes, you are sure foundation. Even as all other ground may be sinking sand, you remain our sure foundation, Father. You remain Father. You remain friend. You remain our reliable one, O oh God. And this evening we say that our hallelujah belongs to you alone. 
All of the glory belongs to you alone. All of the praises belong to you alone, Father. All the glory, all the praise belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, my hallelujah belongs to my hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to. Father, my hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you, Lord Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. Oh, you deserve it. You deserve it. Yes, Lord, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it, you deserve it. Even when I'm on the mountain, you deserve it. Even when I'm on the mountains, you deserve it. Even through the follies, you deserve it. You deserve it, 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 you deserve it. You deserve it. All of the glory, all of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory, Lord. All of the glory belongs to you. All the honor, all of the honor belongs to you. Nobody else, all of the honor, all of the honor belongs to you. And all the praise, all of the praises belong to you. All of the praises, all of the praises belong to you. For oh, you deserve. You deserve it. 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 You deserve it, 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 you deserve it
still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. Walking around this wall. I thought that now they'd fall. But you have never failed me yet. Oh, and waiting for change to come. Hallelujah. Knowing the battles won. Yeah. For you have never failed me. Yeah. Yeah. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. Never fail me. I know the night won't last. Hallelujah. Your word will come to pass. Yes. And my heart will sing your praise again. Oh. Does he all still in love? Is he within your love? My heart will sing your praise again. Yeah, your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. Your promise, your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness, faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. Your promise still stands. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Faithfulness. I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me yet. Oh, Father, we acknowledge you. We acknowledge you, Father. We acknowledge you, Father, as the promise you keep in mind. We acknowledge you, Father, as the one who stands by his side. We acknowledge you, Father, as the word who is faithful. We acknowledge you, Father, as the one that we can rely on. We acknowledge you as the word whose promises remain, O oh God. Your promises remain, O oh God. Your promises remain. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you, O oh God. We bless you this evening. Father, our confidence is in you. We have seen you move mountains, and we believe that, Lord, you will do it again. That is our confidence today. We've seen you in times past stand by your word to perform. And we approach you, Father, with that confidence that you will do it again, oh God. 
Father, thank you because you lift up heads, O oh God. You lift up those that are discouraged, O oh God. We thank you for being promise keeper. We thank you for being promise keeper. We rely on your promises. We rely on your word, O oh God. We depend upon you, O oh God. We depend upon you completely, O oh God. We worship the promise keeping God. We worship the promise keeping God. We bless you, O oh God. Won't you go on and have your way, O oh God? Have your way this evening. Have your way in our homes. Have your way in this space. Have your way in this evening, O oh God. And we thank you for the assurance that you are there, that you do not leave us, that you do not forsake us. And we believe in you, Father. We believe in you, God. We give you glory. We give you praise. For it is in Jesus' name we have prayed, believing and trusting. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Lorraine. Thank you for that reminder. Thank you for that encouragement. Such a beautiful worship it is. And the Lord is our confidence, our trust is in him. Uh, we'll move to the next step. And it just gives me so much joy. It's actually a honor and a privilege to introduce our speaker today, our teacher, our preacher, our mentor today. I am just so very overwhelmed with joy. And we, I don't even need to mention his name because we know him. Is by the name Bishop, right here, being called Bishop. And I'm going to ask him to start his video. Pastor Zedi, please. Karibu. Thank you. You you are talking about Bishop, but <laughs> that is why I didn't start my video. <laughs> But, but here you are, Karibu sana. Asante. Karibu. I didn't start my video because you are talking about a bishop. <laughs> when I said mentor, you should have just picked it up. <laughs> Adam? I didn't get that. Oh, please, Karibu. Asante. I hope I'm clear. Yes, yes, you are. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Maybe some somebody give me Dole to know. Uh, you know, I'm talking to a phone, by the way. So, if I can get some writings down there, I'm a man. Maybe even one a man will help me know. Somebody's watching, or he left the phone in the sitting room, and he left I'm going to look for my diploma. Praise the Lord. Um, yesterday I promised, wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I can see that some guys are alive down there. <laughs> uh, yesterday uh, I picked on the Father, uh, Father out of God, just God being our Father in the prayer, uh, the model Jesus gave us saying that uh, you find even in the Old Testament you find Moses praying uh, David prays uh, Nehemiah's prayer uh, these prophets uh, Elijah these guys make prayers but also you find in the New Testament you find even the prayer of leave uh, <laughs> Linda alone Linda is saying of back <laughs> Fuck yes. Anyway, fuck yes. <laughs> so um, we, you find uh, uh, us having, um, you know, like uh, the prayers of Paul. Um, I think in Ephesians chapter one and chapter three, also in Colossians chapter one, you find the prayer. Of Paul. But you, 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 we don't see it so much in the church. Uh, but uh, one which stands out so well is the prayer of our Lord Jesus. It's when he told the disciples, uh, uh, if you want to pray, 
to pray like this. Give them a model. Start with the Father. Our Father, what is in heaven? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Then kingdom comes. Our Father, who are down. A bit on hallowed be thy name. Uh, when, when somebody asks you, what is the name of uh, this father of yours or the God whom you serve? You said, the God who created the universe is your father. What is his name? And uh, you find uh, so many things will fit in when we talk about his name. When we talk about Jehovah Jireh, that is just an attribute, but you know, when the Israelites ask, who is this man? He said, Yahweh. They, do, they don't even want to give something which actually pronouncing even becomes a problem. But I am who I am. Meaning that whatsoever as a child we may long for in life, as a father, is able to provide. Whatsoever need we may have, as a father, is able to provide. Hallowed be thy name. He didn't say names, he said name. When uh, you can go to another land and say I've been sent by uh, President Uhuru, when you mention Uhuru Kenyatta, you will see people in that office turn to see who is talking. And they would long to know what relationship do you have with the Uhuru Kenyatta. Why? Because his name is associated with the, you know, the leadership of a nation. When you mention that name, what comes to somebody's mind is a president. Talk about, hallowed be your name. What comes to you? It is a loaded word. Hallowed be thy name. Meaning that as he said is the Lord that heals one thing remains when we say hallowed be your name it means that we are talking about God who healeth all our diseases. When somebody is sick we are talking about God who heals. When somebody is poor we are talking about the one whose street is full of gold, is made of gold and who is able to provide all our needs. When we are talking about the protector, then we are talking about a God who uh, Ezra said, we were ashamed to ask for security from the king after telling the king that our God is well able. Hallowed be your name. When we carry his name, that is why I love the story of uh, uh, somebody who said he was they were praying and casting out demons. And he said, come out. And the demon could not, the demon said, we are not going out. Say, come out now. And the demon said, we are not going out. And then he said, in the name of Jesus Christ. And the demon shouted back and said, don't mention that name again. And he said, in the name, and he shouted them more. What is it that is in that name? Hallowed be your name your kingdom come meaning that before that his kingdom was not down here so when we invite his kingdom then the security in his kingdom begin to reign in that habitation the power of his kingdom will begin to dem be demonstrated in that atmosphere. His name will be honored in that atm atmosphere because he is a king in that atmosphere. I remember what we shared today. That as a king, he has servants. And we read it in the book of Hebrews chapter 1. that as born again Christians, as children who are ministering for us, 
they are our servants. In the kingdom, there is a military. There is a, say, we have security. We have the people to defend the kingdom. And that is why somebody like Elisha had no problem at all. He had no problem at all. When the servant came out and said, my Lord, alas, we are surrounded. He said, greater are those who are on our side than those who are on their side. One thing he knew, in the spiritual realm, we have kingdoms. Just the same way they were there in the physical realm. They were there also in the spirit. And you find kings will go to war and they will offer sacrifices while going to war. And to who? And to the spiritual entity that they have been invited to rule their land. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, can we move further and capture more in this area? And I trust the Lord will bless us today. Your kingdom come, and he said, your will be done. He has a will. He desires that his will be done. But his will cannot be done outside his kingdom. There is no king on earth whose will can be done outside his kingdom. Their will can only be done in their kingdom. And that is why the first thing, your kingdom. And if we are inviting him, that his will be done, it is so important for us to realize that his kingdom must be there first for his will to be done. We must accept God's way of doing things for us to experience his power. His will is that we may reign on earth. I think as the Bible says in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 5 verse 17, he says like this, For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one Jesus. His desire is that we may reign. In the book of Revelation chapter 5, verses 10, he says, And he has made and as unto our God, kings and priests, and we shall reign on earth. The desire of our Father is that we may reign. And He has said, He has made us kings and priests. Kings rule, not by walking around, kings rule by words, king rules by decrees. Not by running around. They have servants who run around. A story is given about, I don't know, I think uh, Prince Charles, who was uh, actually confronted, there was a bull charged towards him and he didn't move and somebody had to shoot the bull. And when he was asked, why didn't you run? He said, there are people to work on my behalf. I have security. It's so important for us as children of God to capture this. Your will be done. He said, but you are a royal priest. His will is to reign. And Jesus demonstrated this when he was on earth here as a son. And when he went, he left us to reign as sons. And he desired that we reign as sons. Every day, let it be at the back of your mind, whatsoever you do, what the Father longed to see is a reigning king. It's a reigning king. 
Your will be done on earth. Reigning. What is this will on earth? The Bible says, how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went everywhere doing good, for God was with him. He went everywhere doing good, for God was with him. The will of the Father is that the sons may reign, doing good, bringing justice. When we cry around saying that the government ought to do something, as children of God, he has called us to reign wherever you are. People will only learn the ways of God through the way you manifest his glory. By them seeing how God deals with us, they learn so much about God. That is why you see the Bible talks about that it is through the church that the manifold wisdom of God may be known to the principality, to the powers. The manifold wisdom of God. The way God deals with us. That is why the Bible talks about what is man that you are mindful of him? That you are mindful of him. Called to reign. Wherever you are, called to reign. And he says, give us today our daily bread. Our daily bread. Give us today our daily bread. In the book of John, you know, we find the Bible says in the book of John chapter uh, 6 verse 35, he says, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that comes unto me shall never hunger, and he that believes on me shall never thirst. Give us today our daily bread. Having a revelation from God every day. Having a word to walk with every day. That is why one day people went to Jesus and asked him, what must we do that we may do the works God requires of us? And Jesus said, the work God requires of us is uh, of you is to listen to the one whom he sent. The word every day. Walking in Rema, not in Logos. Walking in Rema. The written word always tells us where God has been. But you see, it is the revelation. It is what he says today that will tell you what he's doing now. We need where he has been so that we can learn his character, so that we can learn on how to approach him. But what he desires so much is that we may have a word today. We may have, we may walk by what he says today. You find in the scriptures, God tells Lot and his family not to look back. Not to look back unto Sodom and Gomorrah. And actually, he meant it because when Lot's wife looked back, she became a pillar of salt. The same Sodom and Gomorrah, which these fellows were not to look unto, you find to another man, it was not a sin to look unto Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible talks about Abraham, he stood and he looked over the, the, the plains where Sodom and Gomorrah were, and there was only smoke rising from the humans. It was a word God spoke to Lot, but that word was not for Abraham. Even though God told the children of Israel never to marry foreigners, you find Moses married a foreign woman, and it was not a big deal. And even when the people rose against that, and his own sister, who was actually also a prophetess, rose against it and said, this is not right. And even his brother decided to, 
you know, uh, his brother decided to to to, raise, to, to speak against it. Also, like uh, this is not when they decided to murmur. God decided to act on his behalf, even though what he did was wrong. But the word of God that he speaks every day brings so much result. And to God, Moses, he speaks to every day. And you never know what they discussed with Moses, even concerning Moses' wife. Even though there was a general rule, you're not supposed to marry from a foreign woman, from a foreign land. The next thing, uh, his sister Miriam had to leave the camp and stay outside because of leprosy. His brother Aaron, the protection was in the government. The protection was in the office where he was serving. The day his government was removed from him, the day he became normal man, that is the day the wrath of God fell upon him and he died there. We are children of God. Something I want us also to capture, which is so powerful. Whenever we call God a father, the next person you will want to emulate as a role model is Jesus. That's a good one. Every time you see God as a father, you will want to draw much closer to Jesus because, you know, you can talk about firstborn and you can say he's the firstborn. No wonder the Bible calls him the firstborn from the dead. He is the firstborn. And it's not a bad firstborn. It's a good firstborn that all the other siblings will desire actually to emulate, to be like. Whenever you see God as a master, you will be looking unto other people in the Old Testament most of the time and will long to emulate them. Some of us, you will want to be like Elijah. Some of us, you will want to be like Elisha. Some guys, you will want to be like Moses or Joseph. You will pick somebody who ran as a servant in life. But when you begin to see him as a father, you will emulate Jesus. You will long to be like Jesus because he was is a role model and he reigned as a son, not just as a servant. Let's come back to what we are talking about. You see, he said, give us today our daily bread. The revelation, the Rema word of God, the word he speak to you every day, the active word is something we need as Christians to live by. And not actually so much about uh, asking people what the Lord is saying, but all of us as children, we have the right actually to capture what is in the mind of our father every day. Jesus said, my father actually worked up till now. My father works. To him, hey, my father is still working every day. And he said, whatsoever I see him do, that is what I do. Some people think that God is seated doing nothing. Jesus said, whatever I see him do, that is what I do. Whatever I hear from him, that is what I say. Though Jesus said it is written, when he was dealing even with the principalities, he said it is written. It is written. It is written. But though he knew the written word, also it depended so much for every day's movement, for each and every day doing, to fulfill the will of his father, he had to hear from his father every day. That is why one day at the uh, you know, at the, uh, at the pool when he met the Samaritan woman, when the disciples came and found him by the pool side, and they told him, Master, eat. And he said, no, I don't need food. For I have the food which you do not know. 
My food is to do the will of the Father who sent me. Another thing for each and every Christian, desire to grow as a child, desire to grow in him. Reach a place where you now you do not need, like you see, like there's a time where Jesus, a lady came to Jesus and said, my child is sick, I desire that you actually have mercy on us. And Jesus said, I do not give the children food to dogs. And the lady said, even the dogs eat from that, uh, 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 the do even dogs eat that falls from the master's table. One thing, he saw healing as food. And when we say, give us today our daily bread, one thing we have to desire is to walk in perfect health, knowing that even healing is food. Doing the will of God is food. Jesus said, my food is to do the will of he who sent me. When we are small children, we long to receive healing. When we mature as a hues of God, the, the, uh, the, the Greek word of, for a mature son is the hues. And, and when we become the hues of God, one thing which is so powerful is that now we do not just look for healing. Now we go and heal. That is why he said, go ye unto the word. In, uh, and you know, find the sick, heal them in the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 17. Now we are his hand, we are his children, sons who are mature and ready to do the will of the Father. Now we do not tell him to come and heal. Now we go and heal. He never said, go and tell me to heal. He said, go and heal them. He never said, when you find a dead person, Call me to raise the dead. No, 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 no. Raise them. He never said, when you find somebody who is in need, call me to provide. He said, provide. You are now sons. The same way I am a son. Give us today our daily bread. Meaning that even the assignment of the things we ought to do each and every day, dear child of God, we must pray in the morning, give us today our daily bread. Whatsoever you long and you desire that I do today, Father, open my eyes so that I may see the way you see things. I may go out and say the things you want me to say. And you find everything Jesus did, the miracles, the places he walked, he was being directed by God of what to do every day. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass. One of the most powerful things as children of God and we must master every day is that we are human beings. Hello? Hello? Pasano, you are Hello? Yeah, please. The one who said hello is a human being. He's not a ghost. Though you may not see him, but he's a human being. Pasano, so we should see you down there. Uh, it's a human being said, forgive us. As long as we are on this earth, and as long as we are human beings, we are prone to make mistakes. You have to accept you are a human being. It is so important that we accept we are human beings. Before we lift our fingers to condemn other people, remember we are human beings. And there are times you will get mad. There are times, you know, you will feel like you don't want to talk. There is a time you will just want to talk to everybody. You are a human being. I love the way a man of God say about, you know, you are such a human being. Like Jesus was so human being that, you know, there are times where he cast a tree. <laughs> He cast a tree because he was he was angry. He wanted food, and he went to the tree, and he could not find a fig. A, you know, a, a, a fig. A, a fig. There was no fruit in that fig tree, and uh, he cast the tree. And even the Bible says it was not the season for the figs, but he cast because he went by the phone only leaves. He cast the tree. Where was the long suffering one? Full human being. He went to the temple, and in the temple, he worked on people proper. 
He worked on people. We became. We are human beings. As long as we are on this earth, remember we are human beings. Sometimes people think pastors are actually superhuman beings. And we keep on living a lie. We keep on pretending until you find somebody just reach a place and say, I do not want this pastor to pastor or work again. You reach a place, you say, ah, ah, ikai. Why? Because I, I, don't, I, don't want, I, I don't want to live this life. This is a lie. But we are human beings. We are fully human beings. And that is why you find most people who are always very close to maybe uh, this great man of God, you don't see most of them actually receiving or, or, or getting the, the, the anointing or actually the mantle from this man of God. You'll find most of the time, people who are not even close by are the ones who receive the anointing. Gehazi didn't receive it. Elisha was, as, was actually like a farmer. But when Elisha came back with the mantle, you find Elisha met so many sons of the prophet. How comes they didn't become the prophets? Why? Because they live so close to these guys, they saw these people's weaknesses, and they actually built on the weaknesses and never partake of the blessing of God, which that man of God was carrying. We are human beings. We yawn. We eat. We sleep. We wake up. We are human beings. Sometimes you feel like praying the whole night. There is another day you will be pulled from the bed to pray. You are human beings. Even though we can shout and all that, but there are times you sit back and, you know, like, you just feel like, I just want to be alone, just want to be quiet. We are human beings. When John the Baptist was beheaded, the Bible records that he went back. <laughs> he went back. Jesus retrieved. When he heard what happened to John, he, he retrieved from the mission field. We are human beings. I pray that we capture this. Forgive us. And anytime you say forgive us, please remember, he says forgive us as we forgive. Meaning that anytime we are not forgiving, we are telling God, please don't forgive us. Anytime you open your mouth and tell the Lord, forgive me, remember the next, the next phrase is as I forgive. Forgive us as we forgive. Be a child of God. Don't carry anybody. Don't hold anybody captive. Please always learn to release people. I love what a politician says sometimes back, that the politics let us really taught him a lot of things, that he should not put people in his heart, but put people in his lungs. So that whenever you are breathing, remember, you also have to breathe out. And he says that you breathe in, you breathe him out, and it is over in your life. Forgive us as we forgive. Today, I pray that you capture this. That is why the Bible says, love, do not keep a record of wrongdoing. Forgive us. We are children of love. Our father is called love. And he cannot forsake his nature. He cannot become another thing altogether. He is love. And the Bible tells us, even prophecy, so many things, they will just fade away, but love. He said love is patient. Love. And so, to me, it's, it will be such a powerful thing. Every day, every day, remember, as you say, forgive. Whenever you mention the word forgive, remember there is another person somewhere. You must also release. Say, forgive as we forgive. As we forgive. I pray that we capture this. More so in the church, we capture this. The people who will hand you over to the people of the world is actually brethren. It is the people we go to church with. It is the people actually we help so much. But there's a time 
they will not have a room for you. Sometimes I ask myself, where were the people Jesus fed when he was being crucified? Where are the people? Where was Lazarus? Maybe they're the ones who are chanting, give us Barnabas. But forgive as we forgive. Anytime you open your mouth and say forgive, remember you are a child. You are a human being. When we capture this, that though we can walk in power, though we can speak in tongues, though we are going to heaven, the Bible says in John chapter two, uh, first John chapter two, verse twelve. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. Oh, for, because your your sins are forgiven you for His name's sake. Remember, He doesn't forgive us because you know there are so much we have done, and we are so good, but His name's sake. We are his, son, his children. Forgive us as we forgive. And anytime you begin to release people, it doesn't matter how the enemy shall rise and begin to raise condemnation against your life. Remember the Bible says, for there, for there is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no more condemnation. The enemy will try by all means to bring condemnation. The Bible says the accuser of brethren who accuses them day and night. But one thing still remains. We are children of God. And anytime we ask for forgiveness, he forgives us. For one thing, for his name's sake. As a parent, it's always such a powerful thing when my children come to me and ask for forgiveness. Remember, you are their father. You are their mother. Even when some of them, they are not that good. Generally in life, we see it every day. We human beings, fathers who are there outside there, you know that when you are old and maybe you had a number of children, you want to associate with the children who are successful. But to the father who are in heaven, to us, all of us are his children. And the ones who are wounded, he will lift them up. He will not leave them to the, in the field so that the hyenas can take care of them, can eat them. No, 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 no. He will carry on the shoulder. That is why the Bible calls him a good shepherd. He will carry on his shoulder and he will carry back home. Forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us. Today I pray that we capture this in our prayers. Forgive us as we forgive. It doesn't matter what somebody has done to you. Remember, why we forgive is for your own sake. We forgive so that you'll be forgiven. Not because what the somebody did to you didn't matter so much. What they did to you was not, you know, like not bad so much. But maybe I'm talking to somebody. Maybe it was raped. Forgive. Maybe I'm talking to somebody. You have been conned in this city. Forgive. Anytime we forgive, we are untying the hand of God to work on our behalf as a father. Forgive as we forgive. Anytime we let go, remember we are opening the storehouse. We are telling the situation in my father's house, there's too much, too much, too much. I don't know what you did yesterday. I don't know the situation that has been there. But remember, the Bible says, his mercies are new every morning. Arise again, even this evening. Don't sit and do nothing. Arise again. Arise again. Let the sun of righteousness shine upon you. Arise again. Arise again. It's the season of service. The season of manifestation of the sons of God. The whole world is looking for solution. I like what Kamlembenile said 
I think I saw a clip today. This is a politician. He said, the ch churches, the pastors should not be shouting, open the churches, open the churches. And he said, simply because they are looking for Sadaka, let them bring solution to the corona so that the churches can be, people can go back to the churches. Say, so let them bring solution. It's a season for the sons to manifest. It's my prayer that uh, you will uh, you'll not be a casualty of coronavirus, but you will emerge victorious because we are solution givers. We are there to bring solution. We are there to bring changes. Hallelujah. I pray that me and you will not just sit back and do nothing. I want us maybe to speak, spend just some minutes to pray together. There's somebody next to you. Why don't you hold somebody's hand? Because he I can face tomorrow because he lives. All fear is gone, and I know he hold my future. Life is worth a living just because he lives. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you have called us as sons. Not as servants, but as sons. That we may go forth and demonstrate your power around the world. That we may go forth, uh, forth and bring light in every dark world. In dark places where we stay, where we live. You have called us to be the light of the world. You have called us, oh God, to be solution givers. Wherever we are, O oh King of all kings, wherever situation, wherever place you have stationed as King of all glory, I pray this day that my Father, your hand will be seen manifesting your power even through us. In the name above every other name. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, King of all kings, that the manifestation of the power of your kingdom will be seen. The manifestation of the glory of your kingdom will be seen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pray for those who are unaware that, Lord, in your kingdom, your glory is the light. And, Master, we pray today that there shall be radiation of your glory and it manifests even in the form of healing today in the lives of people to the glory and honor of your holy name. We pray that this evening, King of all kings, Lord, somebody is being transformed. Somebody is being changed. Somebody is rising as a son and not just as a servant. And somebody begin to identify themselves with Christ, beginning to see Christ, beginning to see the love of God. As our own model, we thank you, Lord. Give you praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Forgive us our sin, our trespasses. There will be something every day as we always open our mouth to say, Forgive. And you don't actually look for a special moment to say, Forgive. But any time, anyhow, forgive. Peter came to Jesus and said, how many times? And Jesus said, seven times seven. Meaning that, you know, it is not easy to, to you know, to um, count when people sin against you every day. It's a place where he said, never find an obstacle for forgiveness. Always forgive. Never reach a place where you say, this one I can't forgive. Always forgive. Sometimes we pray with people, and when you are praying with people, the next thing the Bible, the, the Lord will tell you, tell the person to forgive. There's a day I was praying with some students somewhere, 
and her sister was brought to me on a wheelchair. And I told her, listen, I'm going to lay a hand on you in the name of Jesus, and you're going to get out of that wheelchair. Other people are getting healed. And she started to cry. And so I got concerned. I said, you don't need to cry. You just need to rise up. And so later on, I, I, I asked her, why are you crying? And she said, why me? And I asked her, what is the big deal? She said, they had an accident in the school bus. And she's the only person who came out of that bus with a broken hip. The rest walked out of the bus and she was like, why me? And so I asked her, so are you bitter uh, with God? And she said, yes. Forgive. Let go. I love a book by a brother. He wrote a book and for forgiveness unlimited. Find it so cheap to forgive. Find it so easy to forgive. Forgive us as we forgive. Today, may the Lord begin to work in your heart. I don't know what you are holding. I don't know the person you cannot sit with in the same place. I don't know the person, it doesn't matter how they dress so smart. When you look at them, there is always something bad you want to talk about. Forgive. Maybe by letting go, that person will be the key to the next move of God in your life. By forgiving, maybe you never know that that person is actually the connection between you and what you have been looking for. Maybe you never know. It is my prayer today. We learn to let go. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't know how many people have captured that. I want us to take the remaining time actually in prayer. Hallelujah. Wherever you are living, the Bible says, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Wherever you are, I want us to begin to pray. Your kingdom come. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you and we bless you, our Father. We exalt you, King of all glory, tonight. You alone, you are worthy of all the praises. You alone, who is worthy of all the power. We exalt your holy name, O King of all glory. We magnify you tonight, my Father, my Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Your kingdom come. Your kingdom come, my Father. Lord, we pray that, Lord, your kingdom begin to rule, to rule over our mind, to rule over our families, your kingdom. We invite your kingdom, our Father, into your nation, our, our nation, the, your kingdom, into our, our government, your kingdom, into our places of work, your kingdom, unto the village my Father, Lord, where we come from, your kingdom, my Father, Lord, to the root of my Father's home. Lord, your kingdom, your kingdom to my bloodline in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That from today, Lord Almighty, it is your kingdom that will rule upon my bloodline, upon my family tree. Your kingdom will rule, king of all kings, over my mind, over my family. Your kingdom begin to rule, my Father and my God. Lord, all, upon each and every things we do, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I surrender, king of all kings, Lord, to the rulership of your kingdom. I surrender, my Father, this day, Lord, to see the power of your kingdom, my Father, at work, in our places of work, in our homes, of our children, of our family members, 
over the people we stay with. In the mighty name of Jesus, your kingdom, my Father, Lord of hosts, we want to see the activation of your power in every quarters, in everything, Jehovah God. The Lord Almighty, the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, the glory. You say the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy of the Holy, in the Holy Spirit. Lord, we activate this in our family. We activate this, my Father, Lord, in our lives. We activate this King of all kings in all that we do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this day, my Father and my God. Lord, we refuse to sit back, oh God, and wait for another child to tell us what you are saying. But we are arising, oh God, even as sons, my Father, to know what you are doing in your kingdom, to know what you as a father you are doing in the house. Lord, to know what is taking place in our kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as you said, the kingdom of God is at hand. Lord, we choose to change the way we think so that we be we, we be partakers of your kingdom, be partakers of the power of your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this evening, King of all kings that my Father, Lord, the reigning power in your kingdom will be seen manifesting in everything, in every area. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray today, my Father, even as we raise altars everywhere, that my Father, in our families, in our nation, Lord Almighty, we invite the angels, my Father, the security, my God, the workers in your kingdom to begin to establish, my God, your rule, even upon the face of the earth. Lord, we invite the angels, my Father, the angels even today and to every aspect of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we invite the warring angels, my Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every battle in life today, we are facing this day. Lord, we surrender the battle to you, whose the Bible says the battle belongs to the Lord. And this day, King of all kings, even as David said, it is not by, the, it is not by power, it is not by might, it is not by the sword that the Lord says, today we know that my God, it is by your power. It is not by sword, it is not by human wisdom, but it is not by human weapons. Even as the Bible tells us that the weapons of our warfare, they are not canon, they are not human, they are not man-made, but they are all king of all kings of you to pull down the stronghold. They are powerful to bring down stronghold. Everything that contends for our attention, my Father, this day we command them to come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything, my God, that is being released in the spiritual realm from the kingdoms of darkness. This day, my Lord and my Father, we uproot them, my Lord, in our lives. This day, in the mighty name of Jesus, we uproot, my God, everything, my Father, that contain my Lord for our attention this day. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. My Father, we pray and, our, uh, uh, and we, 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 are, we acknowledge that you are the ruler of the heaven and earth and you have given us earth this day. And my Father, we invite you, O King of all kings, even to the earth you created. We invite your kingdom, my Lord, to rule. We invite your kingdom, my Father, Lord, to have preeminence even in this region. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord of hosts, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor, my Father. I pray, King of all glory, that my Father, all of us, my God, will be walking altars, Jehovah God. We'll be walking kingdom, my Father. Wherever we go, there shall be manifestation of your kingdom. Wherever we go, King of all glory, there will be manifestation of your kingdom. Will be manifestation of your power. You have given us thine spirit, O King of all kings. And wherever we go, even today, Lord, we pray for the manifestation of your kingdom. We pray pray for the manifestation of your power. We pray for the manifestation of your might. We pray for the manifestation of your glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that this evening, Jehovah God, Lord, voices of contention, my Father, is being silenced, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, I pray for my brothers and my sisters, oh God, even to those, Jehovah God, Lord Almighty, who are being laid off from work, my God. 
God Almighty, I thank you because that you have said, we shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed from thee. And you have not said that we may work, that we may have food in the houses, but you said that each and every man may work with his hand so that he may have something to give. Meaning that my Father and my God, something to eat you have already provided. I speak Jehovah God, prevalence, my God. But Lord, every one of us, oh God, will prevail, my God, over every situation this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare, my God, Lord, prosperity. We decree and declare Jehovah God expansion. We decree and declare power. We decree and declare glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This day, my Father, I thank you because you have made us kings and priests, even to reign in life. We arise, O King of all glory, even with your word in the book of Revelation, chapter 5, even verse 10. Lord, to reign in life. Lord, I speak, my Father, Lord, upon our lives today that there is no mediocre Jehovah God. There is no sitting down, O God. Lord, even the weakling, O King of all kings, you say, Lord Jesus, that even the least in the kingdom is greater than John the Baptist. And you said, no one born of woman is greater than John. I thank you because we are born of you, my father. And even today, king of all kings, Lord, we choose to arise. We choose to arise, oh God, to walk in splendor, to walk in greatness, to distribute your power and demonstrate your glory everywhere we go. As sons, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus, your kingdom come in the name above every other name. Sir. But Lord of hosts, your kingdom will come, your kingdom will be seen the manifestation of your kingdom, my Father, even upon our economy, upon Jehovah God, our finances, upon Jehovah God, our family, upon Jehovah God, our nation, Lord, upon my God, even the church, your kingdom come, my God, that there will be manifestation of your glory, that this day, King of all kings, Lord, you are giving us, my Father, you are giving us, King of all glory, the food for this day, you are giving us the Rema word, Lord, the now word. You are giving us the word we desire to know today in the mighty name of Jesus. That my Father, even during this season, oh God, you are opening our eyes, so oh God, to business ideas. You are opening our eyes, Jehovah God, Lord, to the plans you have for mankind. You are opening our eyes, Jehovah God, Lord, to the secrets, my God. Lord, you have hidden upon the sun in the mighty name of Jesus. That, Lord, you are blessed blessing us, oh God, with the treasures of the sea. You are blessing us, oh God, with the treasures of the land, hidden deep down the soil, the mineral soaking of all kings. You are blessing us this day with the blessing, oh God, of the sun, even of the moon. You are blessing us, oh God, with the blessing, oh King of all kings, my Father, even of the field, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak, King of all glory, that this day, Jehovah God, give us our daily bread. My Father, the things we need for today, the things we need to take the gospel far, the things we need to have a good life. As the Bible says, you have given us all things pertaining to this life and godliness. And you are the one who said, seek ye the kingdom of God first, and all these other things shall be added unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you this day that my Father, Lord, your kingdom is prevailing in our homes. Your kingdom is prevailing at our places. Your kingdom is prevailing in our land even today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak a shift, my God, in the spiritual realm this evening, a shift in the spiritual realm, King of all kings, a shift today, King of all glory, a shift in our mind, my Father, where we have been defeated, our King of all kings, we are rising and turning back again, and to the same places of Jehovah God, Lord, coming back in the power of the Holy Spirit to demonstrate what you have deposited in us, oh God, even as sons, my Father, Lord, to display your splendor, to display your glory, that my my God, it will be known, my God, Lord Almighty, through the Son, the manifold wisdom may be known to the principality, my God and our King, Lord Almighty, I thank you this day that the principalities and the powers that rule in this region, my God, they shall rule no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give us today our daily bread. Victory is our daily bread, my Father. Lord, expansion is our daily bread. Good help is our daily bread. Healing 
bread is our daily bread. Demonstration of power is our daily bread. Revelation of your word is our daily bread. We pray this day, Jehovah God, that there shall be my father showers of joy today in the mighty name of Jesus. In every home, we decree and declare our daily bread, my father. Great supply, Jehovah God, unlimited, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You who said, nobody ask of stone and you give them, my father. You you, you said, even though we are wicked, we'll never give our children, my father, stones when they ask us for bread. This day, Jehovah God, Lord, we know there is no scorpion when we ask for fish. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray today, Jehovah God, that there be acceleration, my God. Speed, 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 Jehovah God. Where there's been, my God, stagnation in our lives, oh God, we speak speed this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we speak the speed of your kingdom to reign even in our mind, to reign in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, to you who sees the end from the beginning, Father, we pray this day, Jehovah God, that our eyes are being opened, my Father, to operate it, oh Lord, at the speed of your kingdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, this day, Jehovah God, we activate my Father, Lord, Lord Almighty grace, my Father, the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, oh God. We thank you that today, my God, we are walking on upon what we have received, even from thee. We have received grace from you. I pray this day, Jehovah God, that Lord, all of us, my God, arises to walk in the grace, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, we thank you this day, Jehovah God, that my Father, King of all kings, as your name, oh God, is being lifted everywhere, Jehovah God. Lord, the attributes of your name shall be seen manifesting to the glory and honor of your holy name. To those, Jehovah God, who are desiring to have a child, Today, Jehovah God, let there be a, a, a new name upon their homes, Jehovah God, the name of another child, King of all glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We speak to every situation this day, my God, to give way. Every door, Jehovah God, that has been closed. Every door, my Father, that has been locked, my God. We speak the opening of the prison doors, my God, to set the captives free, my God, to operate, my Father. Lord, even the power of the risen Lord, in the mighty in the name of Jesus, this day, Jehovah God, I pray that all of us, my Father, demonstrate the power of your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us our daily bread today, my God and our King, in the name above every name. Lord, uh, even as Peter said, to the cripple, that such as we have, we give unto you. We thank you for what he has taken in. We thank you for the food he ate that day. What he was able to give, the, what he was able to give, what he was having to give, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, this day, in the mighty name of, of Jesus Christ, we pray this day, my Father, give us our daily bread, oh God. Give us our daily bread, my Father, this day to walk in power, to walk in glory, our daily bread, Jehovah God and increase in our faith this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God and our King, our eyes being opened, my Father Lord, to the open door, the doors of provision, the doors of power, the doors of glory, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, to walk in the power of the world to come, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in the mighty name that is above every other name, we pray this day, King of all kings, the Lord of hosts, we are moving, my Father, Lord, from glory to glory in your kingdom, my Lord, from glory to glory, that even this day, your children, king of all kings, begin to see manifestation, begin to walk, my God, begin to see the, to begin to taste the good word of God this day, in the name of our every names, the situations begin to turn around, that their lives begin to turn around. My God, the places that which they have been rejected, my God, we speak acceptance even this day, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, it's a new day. It is a new day, my Father. It's a new season. It's a new season. The season of sons. The season of sons. The season of sons. The season when the all shall dream dreams. The young shall see vision. The season of sons. The season of the sons to arise, to manifest, to walk in power, to walk in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, my Lord. We give you thanks. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. In Jesus' name, we pray. 
Amen. 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 The Lord bless you. The Lord keep the garment of praise. Arise as a son and do not sit back. Do not draw back. Shalom. Thank you very much. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Zedi. Thank you for your always a blessing to us. As Sand Sana to Meshukuru. We will gladly move to the next step and there's a checking offering. Our last Rosie. Rosie, are you there? Yeah, good evening. Please go ahead. Hello. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Yeah. So good evening, everyone. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Pastor Zedi, for that. Uh, I mean, that heavy word. We thank God for uh, the word that you've shared with us. Even as we continue uh, in this season, uh, we are being called upon to arise as sons, yeah, and just manifest upon the glory of the Lord. So it's time to give. Yeah. It's time to give. And I just want to share a scripture as uh, Grace is displaying um, uh, our pay bill number on the screen. Yeah, so just want to, on the same breath, you're talking about uh, uh, our Father. So Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, it says, yeah, for our Father knows the things that we need of even before we ask him. Yeah, so I know that uh, we keep on talking about the season that we are in. And today I just want us to to look at it differently. Just like Peter, I remember Pastor Zedi shared uh, with us yesterday, uh, the minute Peter started looking at the circumstance, the minute Peter started looking at the situation and the waves around him, then he started sinking. So I want to just encourage us, even in this particular time, I know it's not easy for all of us, things are not the way they used to be, but may we look up to Jesus, may we look up to our Father. He owns everything. He owns a kettle in a thousand uh, hills. It all belongs to him. Yeah, so I just want to encourage us even during this time, no matter what season we are in, let us not look at the season, but look at the God of the season. So the pay bill number is being shared on the screen, and the number is 631 uh, 631-880. And uh, account, kindly share uh, whether it's, uh, just indicate whether it's uh, for offering or tithe or any other. So uh, once again, uh, the pay bill number is being displayed on the screen, 631-880. So I just want to encourage us, even during uh, this particular time, no matter what circumstance you are in, no matter what season you are in, don't focus on the wave, don't focus on the season, but focus on, on, on our Father. Yeah, he owns everything, it all belongs to him. And let's focus on the God of the season and not the season that you are in. And on that uh, note, um, I, I'm, I'll pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to bless you. I appreciate you for the giving of your people, oh God. I even want to thank you indeed. You're reminding us uh, from your word or from the scriptures, oh God, that indeed you own everything, oh Lord. It all belongs to you, oh God. It all belongs to you, my Father. It all belongs to you, my Father. And we choose not to look at the circumstance around us, oh God, but we look up to you, my Father, from where does our help comes from, my Father. We declare today that our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, oh God. I just want to thank you, my father. I pray for brethren, my father. No matter what circumstance they are in, my father, we choose not to look at the waves, my father, but we look up to you, God. I want to thank you and to bless you. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Thank you very amen. much. Amen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pastor Zedi, again. We are so, we are so, so, so blessed. We are going to be, we are just going to transform from the word you fed us in, from, I mean, what you shared it's just heavy we're just going to sit down and you know and think about it and meditate and ascend sana and uh, i want to thank everyone who has joined us today even those who are on facebook thank you very much we appreciate you please leave your footprint there is it a footprint or a handprint at least put a comment there you can just say i was here and we'll get back to you thank you everyone for joining us and may the lord bless you the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And may the grace of, of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and, the, and Lord, the love of God and the fellowship, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. forever.